Welcome back to Kenya. Sorry about that. Remember, you are on a live African safari, so we do have some technical problems from time to time. Unfortunately, that was not so technical. It was just some dead batteries. They are replaced, and uh, isn't this an absolutely exquisite scene coming to you from the Mara Triangle in Kenya? We are with the Angama Pride. Isn't it gorgeous? The giraffe is still keeping a close eye on the napping lionesses, and in the distance you will see what I'm a little bit worried about, but probably not as worried as Dave, since he's got to look after the cameras. Uh, that is a very large storm heading in our general direction, and uh, I, I can speak from experience that these storms can be quite hectic. And uh, that is actually where our rain comes from mostly when we get it. Oh, we got a bit of a movement on the, the right-hand lioness. There she is, she's just popped her ears up. Remember, hashtag Safari Live if you've got any questions for us. This is live from the Maasai Mara in Kenya. No, just a casual neck stretch before popping down to sleep. There we go, a little bit of a head lift. Perusing to see if there are any snacks about. And this pride at this time of the year, while the wildebeest aren't here, their favorite snack is an ingiri. Do you know what an ingiri is, Dave? Mm, no. One more guess. Yes, well done, Dave. It is indeed a pig. It is a warthog. And the Ngama pride seem to specialize in taking down poor pigs in the long grass. And it looks like they're a bit more well-fed than the last time we saw them. You can see the giraffe disappearing in the background. And you can see the amount of flies that are here. Now, we've seen our Kruger animals get quite upset with flies. And these guys seem to have mastered the art of a meditation because the flies don't seem to bother them nearly as much. And look at them all in her nostril. Oh dear, I'd be smacking myself silly if that was me. Very zen lioness. Maybe she does yoga. Probably not. Well, Deborah, I couldn't agree with you more. Deborah is talking about the scenery, Dave. So, I mean, it is absolutely stunning. Now, the, the word the Mara, which is a Maasai word for this area, of course, since it is the Maasai Mara, is uh, basically means dotted or speckled, referring to these trees growing like that. So, very speckled scenery or Mara scenery. And it is possibly one of the most exquisite areas to view wildlife in the world. You just have these absolutely magnificent backdrops, including a large storm that's getting closer. Now, the last time I got stuck in a storm, um, let's keep coming across, I was somewhere over there, <laughs> probably about 30 kilometers away, uh, where the rain is about to start falling near that patch of sunlight. And uh, it was quite a big storm. This one looks to be just as big. I don't think it's going to go to that area. I actually think it's going to come straight on towards us. But I think at the moment, as long as there's sunshine over uh, there, uh, that's where Musiara Gate is, uh, as soon as the rain starts getting there, I know we've got a pack up and do a Ferrari safari up the Ololo escarpment to escape getting wet. That is a very contented looking lioness there. Oh, what's the giraffe spotted next? Giraffe, what are you going to lead us on to next? Nothing? We're just m marching about? Now, quite often when you see giraffe in the Mara, it looks like they're eating grass, but of course we know that they don't eat grass. Uh, they're actually feeding on small balanites and small acacias and other small bushes that are, are actually obscured obscured to by, or for us by the long grass. And uh, Well, we're going to leave the lazy lines and start making our way back up uh, the Ololo escarpment, uh, but while we do that, we're going to go across to Jamie, who's with one of her most favorite animals of all.